this is how you create and add a 50-day moving average and a 200-day moving average to your Pandas data frame. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and today we're going to be continuing on with our uh, stock market data using Y Finance and like we learned last time uh, we're going to pick right up there and we learned about history the history method and that generates a pandas data frame so we're going to be learning about uh, the data frame drop method and a data frame rolling method so all right if you're new here thanks for joining us that's why it's so important that you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell and these are the type of videos you like hitting that like and please drop any comments down below. So, all right, to remind you where we left off, we're bringing in a ticker, calling the history, and creating a data frame. It's got, it got columns of high, excuse me, open, high, low, close, volume, dividends, and stock splits. So, very soon, well, first, we need to fix this. So, if you haven't seen before and if you are new we have already covered how to handle this and um, how to display all columns so it's literally the exact same just display max rows and we're gonna set it at 999 so now this is gonna fail out even though this is a pandas data frame being generated from Y finance uh, for us I'm gonna show you so PD not defined well, yes, we it is a data frame, but Python right now does not know this function. So import pandas as pd. Let's see if this solves it. Bam. Aha. Here we go. So perfect. Now, we're going to run into a couple more problems, so we're going to try to solve uh, this in one video uh, it may run over to two because I don't like these so right now we're gonna be solving um, we're gonna be adding two methods and that's excuse me two uh, yeah two two methods so we're getting into really bumping into what I don't want so we just solved and we got every single row so we have a year's worth of data and the goal of this is how to get a 50-day moving average in a 200 day moving average so let's talk about that for a second so what what are those and what does that mean so basically the last 50 days of the closing price of the closing price so take 50 then divide it by add all these prices up divide it by 50 that's your 50 day moving average so very simply a 200 day moving average is the last 200 days of the closes added up divided by 200 that's your 200 day moving average so we're going to add those in and guess what pandas has that covered for us so one how about we get rid of dividend and stock splits and we use our new drop method so I'm gonna show you actually let me get rid of this so we're going to type this out so it is a method so drop now I want you to look right shoot let me get rid of that and move this over because this is important so I'm going to show you what it does and then how we're going to solve it let's see if you can see that all right cool a dot drop Oops, if I spell drop right all right right here Okay, we're going to do it wrong and then we're going to do it right. And then we're going to drop the columns. I'm going to show you this way to do it. Columns, close that out, run this. AA. Hmm. These are still here. Why? What was that one thing I showed you? Comma in place and this returns so what does return mean 
mean it creates. So now if I want to put this in place, meaning to replace, so if you wanted to keep this as a stored master of everything you're gonna add to, you would assign this to another variable. But we didn't have any stock splits, we didn't have any dividends, we're just gonna drop them and replace it and use the same variable. So now let's bring this in. So I should probably just do print A so I don't drive you guys nuts by doing this. Aha, so there we go. So now let's go ahead and add our uh, 50 day moving average and our 200 day moving average. And we know how to do that. We know how to add columns. So A, and if you haven't seen that, go back and look at that. Everything that we are talking about here, excluding these two, has been done in a previous video. That's why you gotta make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Okay, all right, so we're gonna call this 50 MA for 50, moving average. And now, let me get the syntax exactly right. So now, how did I describe this? I said we were gonna be taking the close, AA, and how do they have it? Capital, capital close. All right, now, rolling. Now, this, what window do you want it to be? And we're gonna do, first, it's gonna be 50. All right, so there's 50. And then, what do we want it to be? Are we adding them up? No, we're doing the mean. So let's go over this just one more time. We wanna take a rolling average, so, this method is already here for us. How many, how many are we looking at? And then what are we doing? You could do some, I uh, think it's, uh, I'll have to go to look at it and get back with you guys. But we are making a new column. Then we are looking at the close column. Then doing some arithmetic. The last 50 and the mean. So let's just do this right now. I still didn't print. A on it. So let's do that right now. So I stop forgetting so I don't drive you guys nuts. Because you guys are very patient and awesome. Uh huh. Uh oh. Here we go. So what is this? It's the last 50 days. So of course, the first 49 are going to be null results. Oh, here we go. So now. So now if I do a 200 day, I'm gonna have, and how many, how many of these results came out? Let's run this again. 256, so if I do 200, so you see where our dilemma's going? If I do 200 day moving average, I'm only gonna have 15. Well, let's get these in here. So how do we do this? So AA, then, 200 MA close rolling and what is this one? It's a 200 day average and mean. So all right, let's run this. Still 200 so I'm only going to have 56 rows of good data right here. So what is a way that we can handle this? Let's change this to two years. All right. So now I'm gonna have two years of data. The last two years, but after a year, let's see. So I got the 30th. And so let's go back to April 30 right here. So I need to figure out, we need to figure out how to get, now slice this off. And I think this is a great stopping point because we're, we're just passing nine minutes. So this, this is how you create and add a 50 day moving average and a 200 day moving average to your pandas data frame. So 
Absolutely, thank you guys. Please drop any comments, questions, video requests. Anybody you know who's searching for this, struggling with Python, share this with them, okay? Because you guys are asking great questions, having some really good comments. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.